Mycoplasma is a genus of bacteria that lacks cell wall around their cell membrane. 95% of mycoplasma contamination comes from the following seven species. Studies have found that mycoplasma contamination in cell culture can cause a variety of problems during research, ranging from inhibition of proliferation to fragmentation of DNA. Worst case, it could even cause cell death. Unlike yeast and bacteria, you can't just look under a microscope and identify the mycoplasma due to their small size. Furthermore, as mycoplasma is lacking in cell wall, it also makes them resistant to antibiotics that target cell wall synthesis. Mycoplasma contamination in your cell culture samples may cost time, money, valuable sample, and produce unreliable experimental results. Therefore, it is imperative that cell lines are routinely tested on a regular basis for the presence of mycoplasma with sensitive and reliable method. In this video, we're going to show you some simple steps of using the latest MycoVisible Mycoplasma Detection Kit from MP Biomedicals. The MycoVisible Mycoplasma Rapid Test Kit is intended to provide a simple, sensitive, and rapid detection of mycoplasma contamination in cell cultures. The kit includes advanced features such as detection of mycoplasma with sensitivity as low as 10 CFU per milliliters or 10 femtograms of genomic DNA, effectiveness against a wide range of mycoplasma species, simplicity of performance without the need for a thermal cycler or special equipment, delivery of accurate results in under an hour, clear and accurate results visualized instantly through colored lines on the test strip, to use the MycoVisible Mycoplasma Rapid Test Kit, first prepare the samples for the test, transfer 1 milliliters of cell culture supernatant into a 1.5 milliliter microcentrifuge tube. Next, centrifuge the tube at 20,000 G or maximum speed for two minutes. Carefully decant the supernatant afterward. Now, add 100 microliters of sample buffer to the tube. Mix it well by pipetting up and down three times, Heat the sample at 95 degrees Celsius for five minutes using a heat block or a thermocycler. After heating, centrifuge the sample again at 14,000 G for two minutes. Carefully transfer the supernatant to a fresh 1.5 milliliter centrifuge tube. The supernatant is now ready to be used immediately, or it can be stored at minus 20 degrees Celsius for later use. Next, we need to prepare the reaction mix Begin by taking an appropriate number of reaction beads provided in individual tubes. Prepare the amount based on the number of samples, positive control, and no template control. Next, determine the volume of nuclease-free water needed to add to each reaction beads tube. The total volume per reaction should be 20 microliter. Add the calculated volume X microliters of nuclease-free water to each tube. Pipette up and down to dissolve the reaction beads. Now add four microliters of primer mix and up to four microliters of sample to each tube. Add one microliters of controls to the appropriate tubes. Now that everything is prepped, it is time to test for any mycoplasma. Incubate the reaction mix tube at 70 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes using a thermocycler or heat block. Water bath is not recommended as it might introduce more contamination from the environment. Do not to incubate for more than 40 minutes. After incubation, allow the reaction tube to cool down to room temperature, then briefly spin down the mix. Next, pipette 5 microliters of the reaction mix and load it into the sample well of the detection device. Add 3 drops of running buffer to the sample well and wait for 2 to 5 minutes for the results to develop. If you see one band, the C band only, it indicates that mycoplasma is not detected. If you see two bands, the C band and T band, it indicates that the test is positive for mycoplasma contamination. A faint T band also indicates a positive test for mycoplasma contamination. No control band indicates the test is invalid. The bands will appear within five minutes. Be sure to read the results within 20 minutes after buffer loading. If your test result is positive, don't panic. We have the solution for you. Your culture can be effectively treated with the Mycoplasma Removal Agent, or MRA. Simply treating your cell culture with MRA allows you to swiftly combat mycoplasma contamination without losing your precious cells. 
After one week of treatment, simply retest your cell culture using MycoVisible Mycoplasma Rapid Test again. Don't forget to always practice good aseptic technique. Prevent mycoplasma contamination using MycoOut Mycoplasma Removal Spray and monitor your cell line regularly for any symptoms relating to mycoplasma contamination. If you need any other information, visit us at www.mpbio.com.